In this video, we're going to focus on the branch. What are the elements that is inside of the branch, considering that there will be a layer three switch. So how can you configure that? Have the MX on top, have a layer three switch and underneath all the devices and the VLANs. And we're going to focus on that part here. So let's, let's jump into the topology. Here we have firewall, but we know what that means, right? It's an MX. The distribution switch, let's call this distribution switch a layer three switch and an access switch. The access switch is a layer two switch. We see here the VLAN. So let's put the representation that this is the MX addressing on VLANs, right? The MX and in the MX you have in the LAN side, we have VLAN 20. In VLAN 20, you have 192, 168, 128.1.2. So in this one, we're going to give .1 to the MX and .2 to the switch. So let's call that from the MX, we have 192.168.128.1. And that's the IP address of the MX in that interface in VLAN 20. We can put here layer three switch. And let's say now we know that the layer three switch has an interface VLAN 20 for 192.168. 128.2 and this one it depends on who you talk to is the transport VLAN the transit VLAN the transient VLAN so let's call it transit VLAN because that VLAN is going to use be used just for the transit of all the traffic that we're going to see later on nothing else here in the LAN you see that in the LAN we have two VLANs which is going to be configured in the layer 3 switch so the layer 3 switch is going to be the default gateway for that VLAN. Let's put VLAN 5 and that's the 10.1.0.0.23 for that which is the data and VLAN 10 which is the 10.1.2.0.23. So that's configuring the layer 3 switch. It means that layer 3 switch is going to provide anything. You can say that the HTTP server and all the traffic is going to be terminated in this layer 3 switch. So when the device, let's say a device here, which is in VLAN 5, sends traffic through the internet, and let's say that the internet is here in the one interface of this MX, send traffic is going to send in VLAN 1, tag as VLAN 5, sending through here, it's going to be its default gateway. The switch then is going to translate that to send it to the traffic, to the MX to reach out to the internet. But then it's not going to use VLAN 5 because the MX doesn't know about VLAN 5. What the MX knows is about VLAN 20. So we need an interface here or route saying that the default route. So everything that we don't know where it is, we're going to send it to this IP address, which is the MX IP address in VLAN 20. It's going to be to 192.168.128.1. So the same way that the NAND device has a default route saying everything else, just send it to the internet. This layer three switch is going to have the same. Anything else, just send it to the MX. Because if it's not in my route table to go probably to this router or another one or directly connected, it means it has to go through the internet. The MX will know what to do. So that traffic, when it reaches here, the layer three switch can see it. No, I don't know that destination, like say Google or the 2.2.2 .2 .2 that I would like to use. Nope, I don't know where that is. Let's send it to that. So what happens in this link in particular? That traffic is not VLAN 5 anymore because MX doesn't know VLAN 5. And since this is corresponding to VLAN 20, based on the layer 3 switch we know here, it's going to send the traffic in VLAN 20. So that it's encapsulated in VLAN 20. The MX understands VLAN 20. So it's going to send the traffic. Okay, yeah, I can get that message and then send it to the internet to Google or whatever. And then it's going to reply back. So when it replies back, say, yeah, I know it. I can see my NAT table that has to be translated to the VLAN 5 IP address of the device. But VLAN 5 of that IP address, we don't even know what that is. So how can we send that traffic to that VLAN 5A host? Well, that's why we need the study route. So in the study route section of this MX, you have to put that all the traffic 
sent to VLAN 5 subnet or VLAN 10 subnet, because that's another device, another subnet there, please, all that traffic, send it to the next hub that we know in VLAN 20, which is this little layer 3 interface. So send the traffic to 192.168 to 128.2. And then that traffic is gonna be used VLAN 20 step, because that's the only VLAN that the Max knows. So when it replies, it replies to the next hub IP address, layer 3 interface in VLAN 20, but it's destined to that VLAN 5 device. When it reaches the switch, the switch does, no, yeah, I know that IP address is directly connected. Let me send it through. And it sends it through the access switch to the device. So that's why you need all this to make this happen. In the Adderson and VLAN section of the Max, you need the VLAN configuration, the Adderson and VLANs, VLAN 20, one IP address, dot one, this device, and the study route saying all the VLANs that you may have here in, or here including as well, has to be in study routes because the dot two is the only device that I know that is directly connected to me. And then the layer three switch, you're gonna have all these VLANs, the VLAN 20, which is a transit VLAN and any other VLANs underneath to send traffic through. And any other traffic that is not in these VLANs, let's call it traffic to the internet, you're gonna have a default route saying all that traffic then send it to my friend MX and the MX will know what to do because the MX is the only one that can talk to the internet. So that's how you configure an MX and a layer three switch underneath in the land side of the MACs.